Hey guys, Music Ninja Matt here, back with a brand new video for you today. And the main focus of this video is to review my first ever pop vinyl figure, which is Black Panther. These pop vinyl figures, when they started coming out, I didn't understand it. I really didn't understand the hype. But I'm a massive, like, collector. As you can see, I love collecting things. I'm a big kid, really. Still love, like, toys and stuff like that. And the Civil War line came out. We went down to the comic book store for New Comic Book Day. And I saw Black Panther, and I just thought he looked awesome. I've currently subscribed to Infinity Crate. With Infinity Crate, you're guaranteed to get at least... Uh, pop vinyl and a t-shirt and then you get other stuff as well so I'll be getting plenty more of these but I just had to buy this so we're gonna go ahead open them up and just have a look so obviously I just love the packaging on this it's bright it's colorful you can see all the others that come in this line so we've got Cap, Iron Man, Falcon, War Machine, Winter Soldier, Black Panther, Agent 13, Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, Crossbones and Giant Man and I think this is so dumb because there's also a Lego set that's been released, the uh, the airport battle, which obviously is huge in the trailers, and that's got Giant Man in as well. So they've, you know, they've pretty much shot themselves in the foot and announced that Giant Man's going to be a part of the film. So I think sometimes toy lines can give away potential spoilers. I haven't done like I can't remember the last time I did unboxings. This is nice and easy to open, there's like no sellotape or anything on these. I don't know why, I might keep them in the box, oh god. But as well, I didn't know, I assume they were all bobbleheads. Apparently not. There's pop figures and pop bobbleheads. Obviously Black Panther is a bobblehead, I'd much prefer him to not be a bobblehead. Like, for him to just be a fixed character like that, I think that would be awesome. Obviously these don't have articulation or anything, again, that would be cool as hell. I mean, these are around £10 each, so, you know pretty cheap and I love this this has some really nice little details on him obviously he's got all his vibranium woven into him just little details like that a fun little thing you can have on your desk I can see why these things are highly collectible it's like I said I'm gonna end up with loads more of these but yeah Black Panther's my first one I'm really excited for the Black Panther comic can't wait to see him on the big screen big character in my opinion really love the way it looks love the little details I actually quite like the proportions on them um do they stand up pretty easy oh yeah they stand up fine, so that's cool as well. I didn't know if they were going to topple over or not. But I also wanted to show you guys as well. Like, I've picked up so many random toys, especially because I learnt where Toys R Us is. Because it's like I said, like, I'm the kind of person who I buy figures and stuff, and they're just, like, lying around my room, and I just like to hoard and collect them. But I've really been getting into, I mean, I love the Star Wars Clone Wars series, up there is the box set for it, and I've got season one of Rebels as well, so just love that. But I got the Rebels Reveal Themselves, oh, bollocking box set thing, because obviously I'm a complete and utter loser. And that comes with Ezra, Kanan, and Obi-Wan Kenobi, like a hologram of him. On the packaging, it was like, comes with a secret figure. There was actual blacked out plastic over the top of him. But then if you read the back of the packaging, it says, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi's basically in this pack. Because, like, I used to get Star Wars figures when I was younger, and now the newer ones I'm not a huge fan of. With the old ones, you could, like, bend their elbows and their knees, their ankles, they were, like, very manoeuvrable. These aren't so much, they just swivel. But I was just like, screw it, they were on sale. The other, like toy related thing that I've got is this massive Lego set. This was my 21st birthday present from Hannah and it's the Joker Land set. And I asked for this just because like I've always been a massive Lego person, always, always loved it and always kind of will. And what drew me to this was the fact that obviously I wanted to have the most to build. It's actually all just sat on my desk at the moment. But it's because this comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight figures. And then obviously you get the whole Joker Land set thing with Batmobile. And I just thought it was cool. So yeah, guys, that's bits and pieces that I've picked up recently. Also went to Game Today. And I've got a bag of 
game goodies, which I'll be doing a video on because it's all related to obviously a video game. Really, really itchy today. Don't know why. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. I'll probably be doing more like unboxings of these guys because uh, when my Infinity Crate comes, I'll be doing Infinity Crate unboxings. Don't forget to comment, guys. You can go ahead and like this video if you liked it, or you can dislike it. Either way. I know you've watched it, so that's good. There's always that subscribe button for more like this. Also, don't forget, check those links down in the description below where you can check out Facebook, Twitter, all that good kind of stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.